As wildlife photographers, we are always looking for the best personal camo solution. Either it's this human bush outfit, or hide tents, or natural built hides. Some use ghillie suits, like this one. But in my opinion, the best way to camouflage yourself are masking nets, like this one, or like this one. In this video, I'm going to show you how and why I'm using masking nets in my wildlife photography. And one that you do, I think, it's the only one camouflage you need. We'll also compare various types, like this one. This will be a $2 one from AliExpress. This will be the Polish army masking net. And we'll also compare the Czech army masking net and the most common one in the Western Europe and the US, which will be the woodland masking net uh, from US Army. So, if you're interested in that, make sure to like the video. And if you're interested in general in wildlife photography, subscribe to the channel. And now, let's tune in. So, why did I say the masking nets are the best? Because they are simply the most universal ones. You can use it as a lay down hide, as a standing up hide. You can simply wear it like I'm wearing it now to lose the human structure, which is helpful especially for mammals because they don't see you as a human, you're just walking like this. Also, you can throw it over some kind of tent, a cheap tent that you buy in your local hiking store or something like the Catlon. Here, to take this black-tailed godwit image, I made uh, a hide, I put up a tent, just a cheap one from the tent. I cut out the line inside it and I masked it with masking nets and some brushes, which made a great hide that the shorebirds were coming really close to and I managed to get this image. If you throw it over your tripod, you will easily get a standing up hide to shoot, for example, birds at their nesting cavities or uh, birds that are higher up, like owls that you need to camouflage or just... Uh, I used it here to take the woodpecker footage that you're seeing right now. I threw it through the camo net over the tripod uh, and uh, simply used it as, as a standing up hide. If a camouflage of a masking net like this one is not enough for you, you can, or you're working with some skittish animals as mammals or maybe some super skittish birds, you can always take some foliage and put it in the holes of the masking net here. And by setting it up, you will blend in completely. That would be your perfect setup for mammals, maybe roe deer or red deer that may come out on the meadow that you're already aware. You set your tripod up about an eye level and you use a masking net as a shield. You guard yourself off, put some grass on it and you're perfectly good to go with photographing mammals that may, may come. So that's another great use of masking net. You can set up below a tree so that you also have a coverage above. You don't always need to be fully covered in a masking net. You can just use it as a shield. They are also very, very easy to transport. You they are lightweight and you can simply roll them and grab them like this. And off you go to the field. So you don't have to play around with putting the tent up, putting the, the tent back down, and packing it and it weighs 3 kilograms. No, this is the biggest masking that I own and the heaviest and it weighs just a just tiny bit above 1 kilogram and it's 3 by 3 meters. It's the Polish masking net and I think that's a good uh, way to show you all the different masking nets I own and why do I use some for one task and some for the other. Starting with the Polish one, I do believe this one offers the best camouflage because it's pretty stiff. It's hard to buy it, I've unfortunately, outside of Poland. I will put some links to Polish shops uh, in the description, but I don't know if they ship internationally. It's the most stiff one, therefore it uh, blends, you, blends your silhouette the best. It's 
it's also fairly uh, it also doesn't have holes so I'm looking at you right now and this is probably the biggest hole in the whole net I can see easily outside of it but the animals can see me so this is probably my favorite one but it's big it's heavy comparing to others and it's hard to buy so this being the my favorite one but not the most accessible one and it certainly has flaws the structure you see here this just falls out and you're ending up with the masking net with holes so speaking about masking nets with holes the Czech army one which is probably the easiest one to buy it looks very very similar to the one I showed you before but it has big nets and it's not the strings in it are not as strong and in the Polish one so it blends just a bit worse uh, but it's also a great valuable option you can move under it slightly just like in the Polish one but um, the next two I will show you are not as good in this department next up will be the Aliexpress one which is the lightest and also you can pack it really really tight and it's really small and it's uh, 2 meters by 3 meters it just has one slot as you, as you probably heard it makes a lot of noise but it costs two bucks so you cannot expect much more it offers good camouflage and it's very easily I took it on my trip to Iceland just because it's the lightest one and uh, it's the most uh, packable one so for the trips that's probably what I would take simply because it's it's super packable it's it's lightweight and uh, it does offer camouflage, although as you can see, the structure is it's not very well covering you. When you put it over yourself, the human shape is not very well camouflaged. You can still see my head a bit worse than uh, in the other one. So this is a good masking net if you're on a budget and don't need uh, something super mega durable because that will probably also uh, wear out in in a year or two of extended usage the last one will be the US Army woodland masking net which is uh, a bit a better version than the Aliexpress one uh, it's more stiffer uh, also lightweight uh, more durable so if you're not on a budget you I highly recommend you to go the US Army woodland one because it's simply a really good masking net doesn't offer as great a camouflage as the Polish and Czech one offers in my opinion but does it really matter some animals don't see uh, colors at all others see it very differently to humans so all those masking nets are good choice but if I would have to take one this would be the Polish army masking net and for traveling I would take the woodland US army one this is my favorite to camouflage myself in a field it saves me money it saves me time and it saves me space uh, because the nets are really small if you have any other ideas how to mask yourself maybe a ghillie suit or you prefer to use a hide tent let me know in the comments below and thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and see you soon